Go ahead. Go ahead. Did you hear anything? Uh, it's really quiet when everybody else is talking. He's kind of quiet. Okay. Hear that? Yeah. Mary, pull that out. Oh, okay. Stratus is it the pre zero one? Uh I'm not no, I'm not sure. No. <laughs> I know. Should probably be whatever's coming up there. Yeah. Well there's like two of them. Oh, maybe you're getting his too. Taking off first. Northeast traffic Cessna 70 Sierra's back taxi and runway niner. Northeast traffic Cessna 70 Sierra's departing runway 9 behind uh, 331 Victor. Let her rip, take her chances. Uh. Get 500, 600 feet per minute, that's pretty good. Yeah.
Keith, traffic Cessna 700 is departing the pattern to the northwest. iPad's blowing up over here. <laughs> Tuesday, but I did it at like 2 o'clock, but I got destroyed. Yeah, beat up. <laughs> oh, it was so hot in the airplane, <laughs> and then it was just so bumpy though. It was hot yesterday. I'm heading there too. Group, we always go to 2275 oh, talk yeah. to each other. Seven zero Sierra is on uh, 12275. Was Dick coming?
Dude, he is cruising. Both of them are. <laughs> What's going on with my GoPro battery? It was dead. It was it was a uh, full charge last night. Oh yeah. Yeah, I put it in, set it up, and then uh, morning it's dead. Yeah, that's rare. There it is, Raleigh. Oh yeah. Just fly to this intersection here, this stupid. Oh, okay. And, uh, and then go. Yeah, it keeps you out of the Charlie. Yeah. I mean, you can call up Charlie and call up for flight following, but usually they'll route you around, so. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, as long as you got ADSB out, they can still see you. Yeah. And if, you know, so we're leveled ops, it's like they kind of probably have an idea of what we're doing. Yeah, I was just over there a couple weeks ago. I did a low approach on the 28 right. That was pretty fun. I was doing my instrument uh, training there with uh, NetJets aircraft. Uh, with, man, I had two like 172s to train on. Oh, really? That's cool. I'm sure Cessna didn't mind throwing those in on a deal. Oh, I know. <laughs> You want to fly? Yeah. So the best way to do this, instead of just chasing the dot, have you ever used this? Yeah. But um, there's the track and the bearing, and if you keep those matched up, you'll go right to your destination, which right now we're heading to that intersection. But. Oh, okay. And you're pulling back a little too much, so if you need to trim it down a little bit, you can. You need a little trim down? Uh, yeah. Get that help. Oh yeah, that's good. Very nipple. Yeah, you really don't have to use rudder hardly at all. Except when you're landing. Yeah. <laughs> So you hear these guys uh, doing practice on this frequency too. Oh yeah. They're usually out north here practicing. When I first started flying, I thought, man, it'd be so cool if you had a chart and you could follow your plane on the chart. Oh, yeah. <laughs> computer that would do that. Sure enough, that's what they got now. Yeah, I, well I didn't realize, so the CEO of Four Flight, uh -huh. yeah, so do you, I don't know if you watch much YouTube, but he's got a YouTube channel, because oh. he's got a TBM 900 that he bought uh -huh. after he sold it to Boeing, and so now he just does all of their testing, so he goes up like once a week and has like three iPads all over <laughs> with his wife in the cockpit. And they're doing different stuff and testing new ideas with it. It's kind of cool. <laughs> but it's crazy because he kind of, in some of his videos, he talks about how he started Four Flight and all that. Yeah. 
I guess he was a uh, computer engineer or uh, something like that. Uh huh. But he's like, yeah, he's like, I never thought I'd ever create a product and sell it for millions of millions and millions of dollars. <laughs> this keeps uh, getting better and better all the time. Yeah. get like the, there's one um, package that you can get, I think it's like $400 a year. Oh yeah. And it's uh, got 3D where you can fly basically on the screen. Um, oh really? It'll lay, lay out your uh, approach to an airport and everything. Oh that's cool. I mean it, you could possibly slave a uh, autopilot to it if you, yeah. if somebody had to know how. Experimental. plates up ahead of us. They're up above us though. Oh yeah. Okay, so we could probably go ahead and go direct to uh Mary. Way that you can program it in as a uh, route type thing, but I never figured it out. <laughs> yeah. Getting a little uh, uplift or something. Yeah, something. Just put it on light, light hand. Just loosely. Starting to get them afternoon bumps. Yeah. Starting to climb. Now you can start working your way to 281. Oh, okay. So this should be Hoover. That one would be uh, Elm Creek. Oh yeah. So which runway we can? Copy the wind. Which runway are you going to use then? Uh, yeah, I don't know. What's the wind? 170. 170. And what runway is it? They have a... 9 and 27. I would use 9, right? Yep. Okay, go climbing. You need to take some trim out or something. Go ahead. I don't know, it feels like you're crawling. Yeah. Dust your heading a little bit this way. I find it uh, helpful to uh, get your bearing and track set up and then just stare out at an uh, object out there yes. and then just aim for that. And that way you can sit back and enjoy the flight. You got all the view in. You can yeah. Like, I don't know if you can see that one tower out there. There's one here, but there's another one out yeah. there. That's probably where you'd fly towards that. You'd be all right then. Six five, uh, Romeo, Cozy, six five, Romeo is going to change frequencies over to Union County. Let's see which way they're landing. Dang. <laughs> oh, yeah, we got back down to 25. Real easy. 
take it easy and just boom. Just use your forefinger and your thumb. You can just steer it that way. Alright. If it starts bombing up and down, just let it go. Yeah. It'll come back. <laughs> Used to go swimming there a lot at that beach. Oh, really? That's cool. So did you live over here then when you were younger? Nah, we just drove over when we were in high school. Oh, yeah? College. Where did you go up at? Newark. Oh, okay. So, did you always work in that jets, or was that kind of... Uh, I worked for, uh, um, Knox, beat their, uh, First Knox Bank in Mount Vernon. Oh, okay. For like 10 years, and while I was up there, I got my, uh, uh, private pilot's license at Knox County. Oh, yeah. And became good friends with, uh, Dave, the, the guy that's running the FBO, Dave Piper, and he was my flight instructor, so... I, uh, he got a job at NetJets, and he kept telling me, yeah, you should come and work here, this is a great company. And, oh, yeah? And I was like, kind of, uh, I don't know, you know, yeah. you're kind of comfortable in your own job, and then so I was like, all right, I'll put in for it. And I stayed there for 20 years, so. Oh, wow. That's cool. Yeah, that's a great place. Seems like a really good work environment. They got a good safety culture, I think. Uh, yeah. Well, the nice thing is, too, it's like after they were able to, after Berkshire halfway picked them up, I think it's like finances for them have never been a worry. So they weren't afraid to take the right steps to grow and become more efficient. Yeah. Volume back a little bit. Need to head a little more this way. Oh, okay. Did you lose your point out there? <laughs> yeah. Kind of in between that tower there and those buildings there. I'll just head for that uh, second tower out there. Maybe that'll work. Which side? Uh, that second tower. Say again. Do you see the fire that is like due north of it? Oh no, I'll look for it. Oh yeah, there it's it like is. They're flaring a well or something. It's big. Oh uh, yeah. Wow, I see it. That's, uh, is that over there by Delaware Airport? It's up by the quarry up there. I'm going to switch over to Union County. Roger that. That might as well, too. Yeah. <laughs> Traffic, Cozy 6 Romeo, we're a fame, the end of 2-7. I'll give a call here in a little bit for the left base, just so you guys know where we are. That's correct. Union County, uh, Cozy 6 Romeo, left base, runway 9, Union County. I'm gonna start bringing it down, just easy. Yeah. Got you now, Greg. Copy that. Uh, I think it's gonna be over there, right? Yeah, I think it's, um, it's on this side of the town, so. Have you flown over the big test track yet? No. Oh, it's out in Marysville. It's a big, gigantic test track that they run. Yeah, 
to happen. Oh really? I've never been over here before. Oh, nice flat. <laughs> yeah. Beauty. It's Bering Street. Oh wait, I gotta go the other way. Oh yeah, no, it's going the right way. Yeah. I think that's it right there. Straight ahead? Yeah. Yeah. What's pattern altitude here? Probably 1900. And traffic like 40 to the final runway 9. Yeah, speed uh, 2000. Uh, 1800. It's about a little bit newer, too. Yeah. And you need kind of traffic. Cozy 65 runway, or we're clear of runway 9. Roger on that, Greg. You want me to take it over? Uh, yeah, if you want. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, keep looking for the airport. Yeah, I was gonna say, I don't really see it. Oh, wait, is it right between those two? Oh, look at that out of here. Ah, we're still probably... Seven miles out. Yeah. Union County traffic Cessna 7007 miles to the west, inbound for landing. County traffic, Cherokee, Summer Zero Hotel, November, Clarence Delta, Union County. And Union County, Cessna 330130 is in the street to the uh, northeast, moving under a left downwind runway 9. Oh, yeah, we got that. Uh, I think Alex, uh, Scott, 49 Victor, I think that's it right there. There's like a clump of trees and then the yeah. runway to the right. Yeah, that might be it. Really, I'll just hold here and then follow you in. I don't know where they want us to park. Because it kind of looks like a hangar there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it looks like we're almost on the approach end for just 2-7. Yeah, that's got to be it right there. Turning left base for runway 9. You can... Anybody else in the pattern? Uh, yeah. Apple. Right, well, there's an OSU behind me. Right. Yeah. There were four, four miles. I give you enough room there, Willie. Really. Yeah, I'm going to park beside this. Uh, Six final for nine. Oh, I thought that was it, but I don't see it. See it? I don't see him. I see the runway there. They going? Oh yeah, it's right there. Yeah. I got buddies up here with private jets, but I've never been there. Uh -huh. Scott's Miracle Grow runs out of here. What's it with? Scott's Miracle Grow. Oh, okay. Yeah, they, uh, they've got yeah, stuff like Columbus and then they got a couple up here. Oh, I was going to say, I thought they had something with Delaware. But... Yeah, they got them all over, really. Union County traffic Cessna 70 Sears, three miles to the east, inbound for uh, runway Niner. Coming at us. Yeah, you better uh, slow his brakes. I got traffic in sight. You do? Where's he at? I got one right there. Oh, okay, I see him. I got another one in sight. Where's the other one? Okay, he's about 12 o'clock now. I see one right there. Yep. Is there another one? Yep, he's coming down lower. Okay. Turn it back. Yeah. Oh, 
40. Okay. Yeah, he's not. Yeah, I don't think he sees us. Okay, he's coming right at us. So I would, I would go, go right, go. Is he coming at us? Or I think so. I just, I would scoot right a little bit because I don't know what he's doing. I think he's in line with us. He's going into the airport. Is he? Yeah. Okay. Is that the? That was the second one. I think I saw. Maybe. I thought I saw another Union guy. Union County traffic Cessna 700 Sierra is entering downwind from runway Niner. Saw another one. Maybe you saw Bob coming in. Maybe that's it. Yeah, because I see. Okay, I got one right off of the horizon. One there. There's that one there. right off our nose. I bet that's it. That Bob in front of us. I think he's coming okay, in. Okay, and then there's another one right there. One o'clock. One right there, yeah. There's three of them. Oh, really? I don't see the other one. At one o'clock. Maybe... I see that one there. 500 feet above us. Yeah. Okay, same altitude now. He's right there. Okay. I don't know where he's going, but... He's probably going to turn in base. Okay. Air traffic, you six things on side of the north inbound for one three air traffic. Okay, yeah, is that him? Yeah. Okay, so there's that one. Uh-huh. Let's see if there's another one. Where's he at? I don't see him now. I'd say he's no factor. I don't have him on TCAS. We'll be landing by that guy. I don't know where he's going. I don't know, but he's low. He's going way out. Yeah. Okay, County, County traffic Cessna 70 Sierra is turning base and runway Niner. Yes, he's doing a low approach. I mean, I would have gone like over the field to do that, but... He's going to do a touch and go. Oh, yes. Okay, fuel's on, mixed bridge. Uh, Car beats on. The numbers. We have that traffic on base. Gotcha. Union County traffic, Cessna 70 Sierra is turning final runway Niner. Got traffic in sight. Scarlet 6 is turning left base runway 9 unit. Union County traffic says 70 stairs, one mile final. Runway 9 or uh, full stop. Mary traffic, East 6 Tango is turning left base for one three. And Union County Scarlet 6 is turning final runway 9. Union traffic, like 40, Charlie Tango, touch and go, left post traffic, Union. Oh yeah, there's our buddy's jet right there. That's the view of Scott's Miracle Cruise uh -huh. jet. Union County traffic Cessna 70 Sierra is clear at Delta. Four. That is what you call a brand new DJ4 right there. Oh yeah? That made no oh, chat. Part side rolly here. Alright.
a product, man, for doing this. <laughs> Thanks for the ride. Yeah. Lunch on me, of course. You're struggling for college too. Ah, uh, one scholarship. <laughs> and I got a job at the airport. Yeah. You got a job at the airport? Yep. Mowing grass. Oh yeah? Yeah. So here we are at Benny's in uh, Marysville, Union County, retirement gang, a couple stragglers here. supposed to be like a battery but it never got any charge on it. Oh yeah. What twenty two seven five Chris? You got it.
my propeller. This is the great thing about Cess. Oh yeah, get the windows open. Oh my gosh, like your <laughs> hand. This thing is so hot. Later, dudes. We're gonna go okay. direct. We're going direct, jump pack. Done. What's your weather's doing it work here? Here. Union County traffic, Cessna 700 at the ramp, taxi in for runway. Earth Niner. There goes Bob. There goes Bob. What about Bob? <laughs> so how long did he practice as a uh, lawyer? Uh, I don't know. He's, he's like 70 years old, you know that? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't think he was that old when I first met him. <laughs> yeah, he, him and my grandpa are really good friends. Unfortunately, so like my grandpa, uh, he had the accounting office above Bob. Yeah. He did very well for himself. Uh. He just has no hobbies. <laughs> and he's a bit like... 330 one part of the battery. So, man, I get it, but at the same time, it's like, look, you gotta work that hard for your money. Go enjoy it. Some people are just workaholics, and they love doing what they do. Yeah. GoPro on there still, or no? Um, yep. Oh yeah, there. You can county traffic, Cherokee Seven Zero Hotel Delivery, Department White Niner, departing to the. County traffic Cessna 70 Sierra's departing runway Niner with a departure to the east.
Caution, wake turbulence from the Cherokee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, there he is. Glad I'm not the only one that does that. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, that's got to be really great for our environment. Got to be like a constant flame over there. Yeah. Can you see it? Oh yeah, I can see it now. <laughs> wow. I'll have to get that in the video. In a deep thick climb of like 500 feet a minute. Yeah. 70 miles more per hour. This one runs pretty good. Yeah. We'll go up to 25. Yeah? 2500. Not 1000. <laughs> one time I took 150 up to 8000 feet. Oh yeah. It was like my first start flying and I was like, God, it took for long to get, so long to get there. And <laughs> yeah. Then I'm like, wow, everything looks so small. <laughs> yeah. Kind of freaks you out a little bit at first. Yeah, well, especially too, like when you're so used to bobbing around at like pattern altitude. Got enough air? Yeah. The other nice thing about high wings is you got like the air coming up from above. Uh -huh. And the archers, it's like got your legs. And it works okay, but. Feel like taking on the bumps? Yeah. Probably about three miles ahead of it. Yeah. I figure out why this isn't talking to me. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. Just use one finger. Give it a little easy outputs. Yeah, come back. Yeah, I saw you go by and my dream study. Yeah. Maybe 
Bill. Okay, back here, so we'll put it in before it's done, put it on the side. Back here, we'll decompress the way up. That gas is people freezing to death up north. Yeah. Yeah. Might need to adjust the trim a little bit. Now nah, looks like it's pushing up this. Might be alright. Yeah. Can you imagine flying without any trim? Oh, <laughs> I can't do it. That'd wear you out after a while. That is a big flame. <laughs> yeah. We can't be doing much worse than them to our environment. Yeah. That just always sucks that they just burn that off. Yeah. They could be bottling that up. Using it. Yeah. Seems a bit overkill. Well, up until they started using natural gas, that's what they do. They just burn it all off the well and get the gas out of it, uh, the oil. Yeah. I remember seeing those a lot when I was a kid, driving down the road, and there'd be big flame going. <laughs> Is it odd flying with the right hand instead of the left? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> well, you can fly with your left hand if you want. <laughs> Definitely more, I'm more comfortable than the first time we went up flying from the right seat. Yeah. I landed from the right seat. <laughs> yeah. How does this thing land? Did it land pretty good? Oh, yeah. like uh, just south of the Appleton B.O.R. Oh yeah. So I got to his house and I'm just always sitting there looking at the planes going in. <laughs> Oh yeah. Yeah, I uh, I told Tanner, I was like, is we getting ready to start the instrument here? Probably about halfway through June. Yeah. I was like, I don't know man, I was like, I prefer using carts over V.O.R.s. <laughs> <laughs> like it's just easier. I mean, once you get the VOR tuned in and everything, and you get your needle set, you're good, but... Yeah. I mean, especially, like, in the archers, on, like, windy days and stuff, I'm like, it's easier just to read the chart than to screw with all that. I don't think it's a bad thing, and I think, at the end of the day, if crap hits a fan with all your electronics... Yeah. They're phasing out. VORs, I wonder you guys don't have traffic. I see another wonder how that's going to affect the whole uh, instrument rating, if it's just all going to be GPS or what. Yeah, I don't know. Roger that. Yeah, but I might be. Yeah, that's not going to be my iPad right now, but So what it was our winds before it was one eight, one seventy. Yeah. So you're getting kicked uh kicked well, this way. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. 
That's why when you set up that bearing and track, and you just keep it same, yeah, it, it uh, matches with your crab and everything. Keeps it squared up on your trout. Yeah. I know in those archers, they've got like a heading indicator. Yeah. And then, so like for your autopilot, but it doesn't have a autopilot like altitude hold. Uh -huh. And so like you gotta just base it with a trip wheel. So. Uh -huh. I was like, this is more annoying than just hand flying it. Yeah. <laughs> Got your spot picked up out there? Yeah, I'm kind of going towards that, the right side of that field out there. Or that like huge gray area. Okay. Keep monitoring your instruments. Uh, look at the oil pressure all the time. Scan, oil temperature, fuel tanks. Never know if you're going to get a leak. I always fly with my landing light on. Just yeah. increases visibility. Oh yeah, for sure. Okay, we got nine and a half miles till we get to the intersection. Okay, back here, Cat 4, two miles south of place, two left on five, thousand one hundred, that's what you call it, back to. I tell you about uh, Butch Fisher uh, up in Mar Morrow County. Yeah. He's a crop duster. He did flight instruction for a while there. He had this one older lady that wanted to get her license and everything, and he was trying to discourage her. Oh, yeah. So <laughs> he takes her up and uh, he lets her do a stall. Then he kicks in some rudder and goes into a spin. He said, her head's like, you know, smack up against the shoulder and everything. <laughs> Yeah. And uh, he gets it recovered and then uh, thinking that he's going to say, oh, I don't want to do that. <laughs> he goes, that's pretty fun. Can we do that again? <laughs> I always called her Mabel. <laughs> that's was funny. Her name was Jean. I think everybody at that airport had a different name. <laughs> An alias. <laughs> uh, his son does crop dusting out of Knox County. Oh, yeah. You know the guys who do it at uh, Near Keith? I think that's them. Uh, oh, it is. Brian. Um, he, I've seen him in there before, anyways. Uh, could be more than one, but. Does that, uh, that Ryan Kistler, he doesn't do it, does he? No. He just flies the 210 and Scott Farmland, I think, right? Uh-huh. Kind of a cool guy. Yeah, he's pretty nice. I mean, heck, I'd be a farmer if I could, you know? Yeah. If you can afford a Tesla 210, being a farmer? I guess so. <laughs> I would. That was a private strip right down here, you see that? Oh, yeah. Right. Oh, I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. That was my friend Brian when he had his 150. Oh yeah. We would uh, always looking for a private strip to make to make our own. Oh yeah. And uh, go this way more. And so he was always going. What about this field here? And then you go down and buzz the field. <laughs> yeah, I think it'd be cool to uh, have a private strip. There's a, so that guy that's that Scott's pilot. He uh, his house has got a field. Oh yeah. He's got a private strip on it, but he doesn't have an airplane yet. So. Uh, you're tracking your bearing set up there. Yeah. We're getting pretty close, so it'll probably keep. Getting real tight as far as.
There's another one that's over by 71 out north side of Columbus that's got two runways that cross. I, I don't know if it's still there or not. It was there a long time ago. That's it. Hey, wanting to go left. <laughs> yeah. Gotta keep your correction in there. See you on the ground, guys. Roger on that. Roger. Say Raleigh's probably almost there. Yeah. I say 112, I think. Yeah. What's that? I said, I think it says 112, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's just kind of hard to see. It, it turned it up and down, but it's at the full, full mark there. This one's got a tendency to go left because I'm heavier. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, we got three miles. We could probably put in the BTA. UTA in there, and it said like 900 miles or something like that, and I'm like, what? Oh, yeah, <laughs> it's like, uh, that ain't right. <laughs> the U and the V kind of look alike on this GPS. Yeah. Yeah, now you can turn on to 127, Daddy. I don't know if you can see the heading indicator, but... I never look at it anymore when I get this. <laughs> yeah. See that road right there? I think that's, uh... That 36, maybe? 36? Hey, right. Or whatever that is? Yeah. I think so, yeah. So if you just follow that, it'll probably take you right to Newark. Pretty much. Yeah. So much for a trip to airplane. Trip, I'm gonna flip it over to New York. What? I said so much for a trip to airplane. Trip airplane. Trimmed. Like to have it trimmed out. Oh. It's so bumpy. <laughs> trimmed, I'll get you. Yeah, hey, you have days like that. As long as it don't make you sick. Yeah. Try to keep my stratus cool. Oh yeah. If it gets too hot, it'll just shut itself down. Yeah. Get uh, 91 mile per hour. Pretty good. Who are we getting coming out? Uh, I think we're doing like 105. Say just for how or uh, sensitive the controls are. It seems like maybe we got a headwind versus an airwind. Yeah. What we do now? Yeah. Those are the days that I wish tailwinds would go both ways.
Well, usually you go fast going one way and then it's slow coming back, or vice versa. Yeah. Big farm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I think my buddy, like, cause we're what? We're over Johnstown, probably. Yeah, we'll be up here. Yeah. To the dude that's got the grass strip, he lives somewhere around here. Oh yeah. Yeah, he lives off of like Tag Road, wherever that is. I don't know where that's at. Is it marked on the uh, sectional? Uh, I don't think so. Cause here's one called Warp Warp Wing. Oh no, his isn't marked. You know Greg Hitchens? Uh, yeah, I've heard of him. He's got that RB8 sitting out there. Oh yeah, because he's got a 150 as well, right? Yeah. So, he's got uh, a field over off of uh, Route 79. Around. Uh, Wilkins Corners there. Oh yeah. Yeah, trying to judge between crosswinds with this and with the lower wing. I they both handle about the same. I mean. Yeah, they really do. I don't. I don't think I could go one way or the other. Especially in today's markets, like honestly, you just got to take whatever you can get. Yeah. When I was transitioning to the Cherokee, it was like it always felt like it was the air was falling up underneath of it, and you'd float down the runway. I couldn't get that. Uh, at low, slow speed down to where I needed it to be. So it took me a while to get used to that, but then after that I, I could fly them fine. Yeah. There used to be a guy off of a free 10 that had a uh, grass strip. Oh, really? And uh, it was... Uh, actually, that one should be down here. I don't see it. Oh well. Anyways, he had one off the 310 and he had a steerman um, that he would run. Oh yeah. I haven't seen him for a long time though. He, he was some kind of medical supply sales guy. Oh, interesting. Nice guy. He was out flying with uh, John Graham. You know John Graham? Uh, no. He's got that airfield that's over off of 36, so towards Coshocton. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. And uh, I was out flying for those guys one day. I had my tri-pacer at that time. We were going to do a, uh, a formation flight over uh, Buckeye Executive because they oh, were doing yeah. some kind of a model airplane show there. 754 is about four months to the west of Plain City, eastbound 5,000. Uh, six level up, so we all went out, circled around there a couple times. Then my trim got stuck, and I couldn't, uh, <laughs> got stuck down, and I was like really pulling back on it. Oh, and, geez. Uh, so I, I broke out. Like, where'd you go? <laughs> like, my trim's broken or something, so I went over back to the Newark airport. Yeah. One guy that was there, he knew all about him. He was like, oh yeah, I just need some grease. Go yeah, that way. We got you doing IFR now. I follow roads. Yeah. <laughs> you could say Tanner already got some. Uh, got some experience on. 
Yeah. <laughs> Did your brother want to go up into 150 or something? Uh, he's just never been up in one, so... We're, we're just trying to figure out if it's the right idea or not, I don't know. It might be pushing it. Well, here's the thing, it's cheap to operate, Yeah. but it's slower. So well, we don't really care about speeds. He's gonna, he might get his private in it. Yeah. Problem is, I don't know if he's gonna fit plus an instructor. No, well, it depends on how big the instructor is. Like a tanner. Oh, that'd be fine. You think so? Yeah. I mean, me and my buddy, we flew down to Florida in his. It had like a, almost a run out engine in it. Oh yeah? We were probably 170, 170 pounds a piece. Plus we probably had about 40 pounds of baggage with us. And, uh, you know, we'd pop off the tanks and fly down, fly out of the airports have any problems I don't know this one always seems like it gets off the ground slower than my other 150 that I had oh yeah so I don't know if the prop had been repitched to a cruise prop instead of a climb prop because I know the other one had a climb prop on it yeah and yeah, that's how some of, so like the two out of the three archers have cruise and the other one has a climb uh, it's weird how you can tell the difference Oh yeah, you get off the runway faster. Yeah. I flew a 150 up at Knox County one time that had a cruise prop on it, and it took like forever to get off the runway on a hot day. But just me. <laughs> yeah. Of course, I was a little lighter at the time. I need to get back, get the weight down. The never-ending battle. Yeah. Okay, so we're nine miles out. Yeah, because they went and sat down at one. He sat in one down in Lancaster that was for sale. We thought about buying. Yeah. But it was the one that Dave actually picked up. Oh, yeah. It's a black one. Huh, I haven't oh, seen that one. Yeah, that thing was a piece of junk. It wasn't the one that had the kids' seat in the back, did it? It was. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was black on the outside and like the green seat. Oh, I thought it was like a dark green, but maybe it was black. <laughs> that, well, the paint color was black. Yeah. But, uh, traffic, yeah. Uh, one through one, do it extra midfield. Alright, we're 10 miles out. Could see the airport here. See the airport? Oh, yeah, I see it. Just gotta look for the giant Owens Corny building. Yeah, I don't know if he's, yeah, I don't think he's gone up in one. What did he say he's using? Runway? I guess a nine. Probably. We'll just go over this side, then we'll order, enter a 45. Okay. For downwind. You can start it on a descent. Just the light. Drop it down about 2,000 feet. Hey Bob, uh, I'm a 25 Delta, direct above downtown. I'm going to head east and then I'll loop around. I'll be number two behind you, but I'll give you plenty of space. Alright, thanks, Shannon. Okay. Yeah, no problem. I got an EDS speed, so I'll tell you what. Alright, so Tanner is coming over yeah. the east side of town. And there, Keith, traffic Cessna 70 Sierra is uh, six and a half miles to the west, uh, northwest, um, inbound for uh, runway Niner, I guess. Tower traffic, one through one, do it actually left base, don't Keep an eye out for you, Tanner. Uh, yeah, I'll look for you as well, Chris. Uh, I'm just above downtown, and uh, I'm looking back in to join the downwind. What are we over? Yeah. And the airport's right there, so I was kind of gear out and join a 45. Yeah. We're over Granville now. Alright, um, yeah, well I guess we're just doing that. 
So they're Niner? Yeah, so we need to go around this way. Enter 45, we're downwind. 500 eastbound. Any traffic, please advise. Crimes. You will keep the on our 5 Delta. Downwind, 0 9 on Rob. Still looking for good. Just over uh, Denison Field right now. All right, uh, we're directly above Rural Keep now, so uh, looks like we'll probably be the end. You know, the click it twice just oh, acknowledges the. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Past us, probably. If he's good. I think that's him. He's <coughs> he's about in the pattern now, so. All right, I'll start. Uh, I'll just stay where I'm at. We're good here. Hey, go ahead and turn in. Hello. All right, you want to start that? Yeah. You want me to take it? I got it. Okay. Yeah, as soon as you start to see something you don't like, just take over. All right. Well, uh. Probably above him, anyways. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're okay. So we're over here by the hospital. Yeah. So just go by the hospital there, cut it, and then All right. we'll enter down with there. All right. Go, Chevy. November 7th, 2019, uniform, preparing final, 0510, Delaware. Delaware traffic, clear 717, Alpha Papa, one mile south of the field. We'll be entering the big field, left downwind, runway 10, Delaware. There, one. Level one. Ashland traffic, Cessna pour out the uniform two miles southeast, we'll enter 45 degree downwind for one mile. Good day of flying. Yeah. Delaware traffic here, 717 Alpha Papa entering uh, midfield left crosswind pattern altitude. Delaware traffic. Uniform is uh, going around one zero. Delaware. Going up this way. Why? Going up this way. They can at least enter downwind midfield. As <coughs> traffic says before us, plan on starting downwind. to downwind over these trees. Keith traffic Cessna 70 Sierra is entering a 45 for downwind, runway Niner. You 
thought that was for the active back, back, back here or not. Alrighty, I got it. Okay, I'm thinking. Got it? Yeah, it is. Alright. Okay, gas, mixture, prop. <laughs> yeah. Props on, car beat. Delaware traffic, clear 717 on the top of left base, runway 10, Delaware. Helicopter 3625 goes right crosswind for runway 10, Delaware traffic. Turkey's traffic, Cessna 70, Sears, turning base, runway 9 Delaware traffic, Sears 717, on top of final runway 10, Delaware. Clear that one? Yeah. Really not as bumpy as I thought it was going to be. There keep traffic, Cessna 70 Sierra's turning final, runway niner. Flap. Stella traffic number 739 at uniform on downward front by one. Oh yeah, look at that, right on the pappy there. You know, if you see two reds and two white, you're inverted. <laughs> <laughs> Zero short runway. Almost sound like Harold there. Traffic Cessna 70 Sierra is clear of the active. I get some mojo, some uh, motion lotion. Motion. Doors are. Nice looking 180, I think. Yeah. 